Coach Brandon here, and today we'll be covering casein protein and sleep. For starters, what is casein protein? Casein is, if we take a serving of milk, 80% of the protein in that serving is going to be casein, while the remaining 20% is going to be whey. Now these two protein sources are kind of on the opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to digestion rate. Casein is going to be one of the slower digesting proteins out there, while whey is going to be one of the faster, which is why whey is often taken after working out. But it's an old theory that casein taken before bed can help aid in protein synthesis as you sleep and help to reverse some of the catabolic effects of sleeping, well rather not eating while you sleep. But there's also some contradictory studies out there that show that there's not a great benefit in taking a casein before you sleep. Well, there's also some studies we'll review today that show there is a great benefit. So we'll go ahead and look at a few of these studies and talk about what the differences are and what we should actually kind of believe. Uh, to start, let's go ahead and look at a review here. This review went over a lot of different studies, most with, most with the same method and similar results. The method used here was that uh, participants either took 40 grams of casein protein right before bed, or they took a placebo drink that wasn't really nutrient dense whatsoever. And the results of that study was that 22% increase was found in muscle protein synthesis as the participants slept, or the casein group slept, rather. Now, other studies covered in this review actually had better benefits all the way up to a 37% increase in muscle protein synthesis. So now we've got to ask ourselves, well, why are there so many contradictory studies out there? The main reason that is is because with studies like this, they're comparing a casein protein before bed to nothing. Now, as many of us know, the most protein-rich meals that Americans typically eat are at night or at dinner time. Most of the time, breakfast, lunch, and snacks throughout the day aren't very protein-rich for the average American. So a lot of the other studies, they leave um, participants their natural devices that aren't in the casein group and those people will go ahead and take a or eat a very large protein dense meal along with carbohydrates, fiber, fat, and other nutrients of that sort that already significantly slows down the digestion rate plus on top of that uh, red meat and other protein sources that are often found at dinner are already pretty slow digesting. So that's why a lot of studies uh, kind of show that there's not a significant benefit in a casein now, in my personal opinion, there's still a great benefit to be had here in taking a casein protein before bed, especially for specific populations. If you're trying to be in a calorie deficit, let's say, and you had to stop eating a few hours before bed for one reason or another, maybe you already hit your caloric limit, um, having a casein protein, typically it's fairly isolated, not a whole lot of calories in it, can be a great, uh, a great idea for you because then you kind of can aid in muscle protein synthesis as you sleep and rather you can't really find a, or you can't really have that meal that may put you over your calorie goals for the day. Now to take a step further, we can also have things like a Greek yogurt, a cottage cheese, and other things like that that already are packed with casein protein naturally. The only issue with that is that a lot of people out there are not a big fan of cottage cheese, uh, Greek yogurt, and things of that nature. Me personally, I'm not a big cottage cheese guy. I find it a little more convenient to just have a casein protein uh, right before bed, assuring that I have the benefit of improved muscle protein synthesis as I sleep. I think that about covers it for this topic. That's Brandon Morgan signing out.